Welcome to the Atlas Copco Micro Torque tutorial series. In this video, we'll be going over how to use the auto set function on your MT Focus controller to quickly set up a piece set and do some rundowns on some tiny little screws on this hard drive right here. The first thing we're going to want to do is turn on our controller. We'll do that by holding the button for a half second. Once the tool initiates, we'll be at our main screen. At this screen, I'll hit the down button, go to select P set, and then I'll select P set number four since we don't have anything recorded on that P set. Then I'll hit the down button again, scroll down two times to auto set, and hit the OK button. Here we set our target torque. I want to go for 100 centinewton meters, so I'll scroll down by holding the button until we get there. And then I'll hit OK. Now it asks, do we want to use this auto set in P set number four? I'll hit yes. And now we see an indicator saying one of three. So we will have to perform three rundowns to calibrate our P set. After the third rundown, we get the notification that the auto set is finished. It gives us two options. We could either hit down to adjust it, or we could hit OK to continue. It noticed that the joints we were doing were hard joints, and it gave us the recommended speed of 581 RPM. I'm going to hit down, and now it gives us the option to adjust our RPM. I'll set it to 550, hit OK to continue, and here we could set a minimum angle a maximum angle, and a trigger torque for angle counting. By hitting OK, we will now commit that piece set to number 4, and we're ready to run down all of our joints. Before we do that, I want to set a batch number, since we're going to be doing 6 screws. So by hitting up or down on the keypad, we could go down to batch control, hit OK, and then scroll down to set size. I'll increase this number to 6, hit OK, and now we have 0, 6 up top. I'm going to go ahead and loosen those screws that we used for our auto set. And now I will run down the 6 joints for this batch. We got the green OK. Green OK. Green OK. And on our final screw, the screen should turn blue to let us know that the batch is OK. And there it is. And that is how easy it is to set up a P-set using the auto set function. You don't need to use a computer or Tools Talk MT software. You can do it all directly on the controller itself. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe to Flexible Assembly for more product news and tutorials in the future.